Greetings everybody. In this video, I'm going to talk about a very, very important subject and I believe that this topic has probably been the cause of a lot of hatred, a lot of anger and even a lot of doubt towards God. This topic is, is so deep that it's probably been one of the means of causing the French Revolution in the Dark Ages. Now before I go through this topic, have you ever heard of statements like these? God has prepared a place of punishment. That place of punishment is a fire that burns forever. The Bible teaches that if you don't love God, you will burn in eternal torment in a lake of fire in hell. Another one I would think is, um, well, not why, but one reason I don't really want to believe in a God in an afterlife is my grandfather just died and according to your Christian uh, doctrine, he's in hell right now, so thanks a lot. He took what we all deserved? We all deserve to burn in hell for all eternity? We all deserve that? And even if I could think of someone who deserved that, I can't think of anyone who deserves to burn for all time. The question is, if there is an all-loving God out there, a, a God that is just just a really good being, you know, he, he's just got a lot of love in his heart. Um, why would that being create a system to where I could burn in hell forever? Where I would be tortured forever? I would go through agony and or it would just be horrible. Now before I even go through this, I'm not really here to talk about the individuals who posted their questions or their comments in, in whatever manner they did it, only because it is a good question. That question is, if God is so loving, why does he burn people for all eternity? I believe this question really has to be answered because I believe this doctrine alone has probably been single-handed in actually placing doubt, placing hatred, and even placing a, um, how do you say, even placing an attack on the character of God because the Bible says God is love. Hence, people ask the question, if God is so loving, why on earth would you burn people for all eternity? Does it even make sense to do that? To be honest, I fully agree with that question. If God is so loving, why would you burn people for eternity? Let's put it in layman's terms. Let's say a man stole a piece of bread in the year AD 45. Now in the process of stealing that piece of bread, he died and then he went straight to hell. So in the year AD 45, he died and went straight to hell in the process of stealing a piece of bread. Now. We know Hitler to be one of the prominent figures when it comes to negativity towards certain races and his teachings brought the cause of millions of deaths. Hitler died on the 30th of April 1945. Therefore, according to this doctrine of burning for eternity in hell, Hitler died on the year 1945, um, April the 30th and is burning since that time for all eternity. Now notice the two examples that I'm giving. I mentioned that there was a man who stole a piece of bread in the year AD 45 and Hitler died in the year 1945. In between the years of 45 AD to 1945, we have a time span of 1900 years. Now, think about this. The man who stole a piece of bread in the year AD 45 has been burning longer than Hitler who was a mass murderer when it came to certain races and Hitler died in the year 1945. So this man was burning 1900 years while Hitler only burned for a lesser time than him whilst Hitler did the bigger crime. Now is that just? No. Is that fair? No. But what does the Bible say about God? Tell ye and bring them near. Yea, let them take counsel together. Who hath declared this from ancient time? Who have told it from that time? Have not I the Lord? And there is no God else besides me. A just God and a Saviour. There is none beside me. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 21. So this doctrine, if it is true, contradicts the very character of God. Think about it. Can you imagine somebody burning for all eternity for an average life of about 70 years of sinning? It doesn't make sense, does it? 
I guess that's why this person said the following. I can't think of anyone who deserves to burn for all time. So then, I guess it then goes back to the assumption of the question. If it is true. So if we put all of these things together, we should really be asking the question, if God is so loving, does he burn people for all eternity? Friends, according to the Bible, hell is not a place of eternal torment. It is not a place where demons look like half burning beasts ripping the flesh of people just the way it is terribly described in pictures today. This teaching, if you look in history, actually comes from Greek mythology and because of this, they, in Greek mythology, they believed that the soul was actually immortal. This is where this teaching of eternal torment also comes from. Now, based upon the time of this video, I can't really go too, too deep into it. But what I've already done is I've covered this subject and that subject is going to be in the description below. As you click on that description, you're going to see from the Bible what the Bible truly has to say about the topic of hell and if eternal torment is actually true. Now, the reason why I believe this topic really needs to be covered is because I know for a fact that God is love in the Bible. And the devil knows that if he can get people's idea of the fact that God is love, he has won his argument, he has won his case. And so he's used this doctrine of hell to trick people into thinking that God really isn't loving, but that God hates us, God is unjust, God will burn you for all eternity if you do not do what he says. And obviously for the fact that because Satan can keep you away from the true understanding of the doctrines of God, he knows that there's a big blessing for each and every one of us. So what he's doing is trying to divert our attention. It will take away the attention of the gospel, which means good news, and place the attention on this false doctrine, which is bad news. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine upon them. So based on the verse, as long as Satan keeps you in a state of unbelief, because of the false doctrine that has been brought out, he's going to make sure that you're going to miss out on the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. So you can understand why Satan's main attempt is to try and keep people in this, this, this spiritual state of blindness, you could say, so that people can miss out on what is actually true. So friends, if you want to see what the Bible truly has to say about the topic of hell, and it may sound strange, but see the good news about hell, you can click on the link in the description and this will clear up the popular Hollywood type, false perceptioned, perverted, unbiblical version of hell. So that concludes the end of this video. Thank you very much for listening. And as you listen to the true understanding of what hell is, you will say to yourself, ah, that makes a lot more sense. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.